All right, so we're gonna answer two questions in this video. One, is it weird to fall for a cartoon? And two, is it weird that I wanted to date a car? All right, audience retention is gone to shit. I should probably just start the video. Growing up, my parents always told me that one day I would start finding girls attractive, which at about eight years old, I highly doubt it. The girls were gross and they didn't poop. Like y'all really pushing it here. But maybe a year or two later, they ended up being like, half right because i didn't start liking girls i started liking animated girls the girl from el dorado you are too fine that's a dub misty from pokemon that is a dime ladies and gentlemen lola bunny i guess i'm a furry now i'd fuck honest to god even my first real definite crush who i had feelings for was a cartoon you want to know who it was it was freaking roxanne from the goofy movie my G dime piece and really I can honestly say I had feelings for her it was so bad that I remember actively finding every clip of media that she was in and watching it which was the goofy movie in one episode of mouse in the house I'm very sad I know that information I guess you could say I was trying to make her my bitch A year went by and then I started to get into anime, which made things 10 times worse. Because not only did I have actual feelings for these fake characters, but I also started to become irreverent to the whole crazy girlfriend thing. I don't care if you're going to kill all my friends if I speak to them again, it's fine. I barely leave the house anyway. But I knew it was bad when I was chilling with a friend uh, watching this movie and one of the characters I really resonated with. They were really nice and kind and determined and I loved their voice. And I realized that I definitely had a crush on that character. We were also watching Cars 3, and this was a month ago. I am 21 years old. I don't know why I'm saying this. This is very incriminating. That was kind of the prompt to make me sit back and think, is that shit kind of weird? All right, now let me defend myself real quick. I did not actually develop feelings for the car like young Richie did for all the past characters. I, I saw that this character had a lot of traits I look for in a girl. And then I liked the character for it. That's what like the crush thing would be. Or maybe secretly, I just want to fuck a car. I don't know. I guess you could say I would give her the pipe. Like, I think I can break this down to three levels. Finding the characters attractive, finding dateable qualities in these people, and then like actually developing feelings for the character. If I had to put myself on the spectrum, I'm probably chilling like right here. Uh, Young Kurt, he's probably chilling right here. He needs to leave the house more often. I think this first year though is surprisingly pretty common. Also, quick tangent. <sighs> like, remember when I said Misty was a dime? Well, I mean like she was actually a dime. Like she's 10, like she's 10 years old. Actually, the vast majority of these girls are underage. Everyone looks old, so we're really walking through an underage FBI minefield here. So I'll be treading lightly for the rest of this video. And also please, uh, animators, please make 10 year olds look like 10 year olds. Okay, thank you, uh, moving on. And we know people finding cartoons and anime attractive is pretty common because there's a precedent set of people consuming like cartoon smut. Just look at 4chan or uh, more specifically, hentai mom if you're watching this don't look up either of those things and on that note it's time for cartoon porn history with kurt ritchie this video never had a chance of being monetized anyway so it might as well go full in so in 1722 the japanese government made a law to ban shunga which is essentially the first version of hentai manga this means hentai manga had already been known in the public to the point where they were like yo we probably like not and just to double down because i've lost all my ad revenue already the concept of hentai anime can be taken back all the way to the 1930s with suzume fune and the most well-known one is called cream lemon and people keep making them like there's whole sites dedicated to it uh, according to my friends but what i'm saying is that there's a market for that kind of stuff there always has been so it's fairly common but for these last two tiers there's this balance of identifying these characters on one side as just wifey material and then on the other side of actively trying to make them wifey material. See, the first one's pretty common, and I, I know this because I asked a lot of people. All right, you guys, would you date a cartoon character? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Damn, I'm hell sorry. yeah! The police are gonna get caught! Ha, <laughs> of course not. Uh. And it makes sense a lot of people feel like this because it's just parasocial relationships. Which we talked about in the Why Hey Anime video, which you should watch, is like some good shit. So it's like I said before, I peeped the personality and I liked it, but you know, I'm not pressed on like actually being with them. Like I'm not hung up on the fact that I can't f hot anime girls, you know what I'm saying? But this other group 
is very hung up on that. Like there was this guy, a Sal 9000, who married Nene Anagasaki. Oh, I'm bad with the names. Ooh. Who is a video game character? There are also a lot of men in Japan who are in active relationships with characters and dolls. I would like to marry her, but I need a permission signature from her parents. I am so in love with her. For me, she is girlfriend, wife, and daughter. Wait, hold on. Can we bring that back real quick? Wife and daughter. My guy, I don't know if you knew this, but I don't think those are supposed to be interchangeable. <laughs> now listen, I don't think I gotta explain why actually, for real, not a joke, marrying a fictional character is not healthy, but I will say the ethics of this aren't the worst thing. I except that last guy, he really needs to pick a role here. They're just falling for a girl who can never love them back and isn't capable of human emotion. That's like half of my exes. It also could just be a product of the culture, so I can't rag on these guys, honestly. The reason I felt like that was because I was like, Eight. And even then, it wasn't that permissible. These guys are full ass grown adults. So you gotta be pretty stressed to marry something that doesn't exist. Japan, you're doing some crazy shit. There's this idealized person in your brain who is also there for you. You mix that in with obligations and stress, and I can actually understand how that might drive someone to end up fucking a body pillow. But still, just because you can have intercourse with a body pillow doesn't mean you should. Quote Kurt Ritchie. So, the moral of the story. There's levels to this shit. The first two are understandable, all right? Maybe I'm just trying to justify me trying to smash a car, but th I, there's levels to it. But it's actually becoming weird and a problem when you're like, you know, dating, you know, figurines, all right? But you know, a good, a good thing to remember for people who are really struggling with that is that if they were real, they probably wouldn't love you anyways. If you were this fine, would you date you? Cause, Cause I wouldn't date me. So to younger Richie and all those nice Japanese folks, I don't judge you. Everything is subjective, I guess, but we should all like open up to different avenues here. I'm just saying. Oh, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Ah, uh, that was that was really corny. I don't know why I did that. The boy is back, and uh, I hope you guys like that video. I'm sorry it took forever though. It took like a really long time, longer than it should have. And if you like that video, like I said in the video, check out my why I hate anime video. It's super contradictory because I have an anime channel. Uh, well, I'm on an anime channel. It, it, also, check out Getting the Robot. It's the anime channel. You should check that out. All right. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. See you guys next time or whenever I decide to upload, which hopefully soon probably won't be, though. I, actually, who knows? Uh, subscribe. All right. Peace. <laughs>